Welcome back everybody to RimWorld. So yesterday we were kind of besieged massively. Today we are still besieged massively. That tank zombie is about to leave this entire goddamn horde through our building. We've got a lot of other zombies to worry about heading over as well. We've got all sorts of other tank zombies. Was it like three down here or something like that? We're a little bit, we're a little bit, uh, what's, what's the word? What's the word? Screwed. We're completely screwed. I'm going to be honest with you. Um... How can we focus on keeping these guys happy when their walls are constantly being knocked down? It's a great question. We'll worry about that in a minute, though. We, we've got five people in power armor. To be honest, one person with power armor could possibly hold the line. So what I was thinking is we'd implement a shift-style system. Rex Buckley, Tallahassee especially. We've got Tallahassee. We've got also, what was it, like Barton as well. Both of which are very neurotic. Uh, both of which are much more set towards mental breakdown risk. So we don't want those guys standing here for ages gunning down zombies when they're just not needed. So it might be better to have a shift style system. Maybe have Rex Buckley holds them off for an hour. Tallahassee holds them off for an hour. Barton holds them off for an hour. There is the guard spot added by the mercenaries mod that we could try and employ. But for right now, I feel like the micromanagement is definitely the way forward. Um, speaking of Rex, Rex Buckley. Rex, Rex Buckley, whose name apparently I can't say anymore. Let's get you into here. Let's see if we can take out that tank zombie before he just leads them in. Let's take him out on half terms. Have you got enough? Have you got any ammo? Reload. Okay, he seems to be alright with that. Tallahassee, you come and help out as well. Right, okay. Good luck. See if we can take out this tank zombie before he becomes a real pain in the ass. He's coming around the corner, which means we are going to be able to glow him. That's my only concern that we might have to walk out and take him out. Let's try and patch this up as soon as possible. So could I maybe get some other colonists working on this? Um, or if we get like, yeah, prioritize delivering. That's a good idea. Knock him down. Knock him down, boys. How did you get in? How did you just get in? What did it... <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. We'll worry about that in a minute. Right, Tangs on me is down. Let's get this patched up, and then we can actually focus on doing some other stuff. So a lot of you point out as well that I'm, I've built this massive stockpile because well, even though we've got the deep storage mod, that's a great point. Um, I don't think we've got enough resource to really make it work yet. How, how much steel have we got right now? They're not super expensive. They're like 50, 60 resource per thing. We've only got 500 and however much, 65 steel. So we're looking at like a good 10 or so percent of our, well, more than 10% of our steel to build a weapons locker. When we could just leave them on the floor. In terms of resource efficiency, it's not very good at all. But if we want to make more space out of this room, then yeah, it would be the right way forward. I think I'm, I'm still going to wait on building that stuff for the time being. Just because we really just don't have enough resources to justify it right now. But later on, I'll definitely definitely get some of those put down. Like when we've ripped up like all of these tiles, for example, up in this building. That would be the right time to put down stuff like that and all of this stuff out here too. When we get the quarry working, right now these guys are digging up a bunch of marble blocks. Help us build up these walls and, and, and stop some of the, some of the fire spreading. Okay, how are we looking? Where's where's our boy Barton? Here he is. He's heading over now. Let's get Rex Buckley up there, ready to build. Let's get Tallahassee completely out of the way so that he doesn't end up shooting these guys in the back of the head. Thank you very much for those blocks. Right, you just, just construct. Stop. He just actually just opened fire completely at the wall there. What is wrong with you? Right, Rex Buckley, get that wall built. Stop, 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 stop. Right, let's just keep it moving. So I don't want to turn off fire at will because it is actually very useful. Where the fuck are you going? Repairing marble wall. Oh, he's coming to repair the ones around it. Okay, that's patched up the sort of glaring issue that we had. Where's the next tank zombie is probably the real question. Is he Okay, there's one there, one there. We've got probably a good in-game day or so before those guys are going to become an issue again. So everyone take some time off. Go do your regular jobs. Go get back to business. Focus on harvesting this stuff because we are in toxic fallout as well, don't forget. So we've got really everything going for us right now. Fox, have you got nothing better to do than repair? What about like quarrying? I set him higher on repair. Is that really necessary? I feel like it's a complete waste of time. I'd rather just replace these, a lot of these walls anyway. We've got a lot of steel walls. We've got a lot of wood walls, which we'll all need, you know, removing eventually. Replacing with something a bit more durable. Like, all of this stuff, replacing it with, with stone would be just ten times better. All right. We are we are fine, then. I, honestly, I think I think we're pretty good right now. How's the research coming along, too? Why is 4 is not researching? It's probably better. Ah, uh, trying to get trying to get guys on board. That's honestly a lot better. Going to be honest, I'm incredibly lazy and don't like comparing these guns all the time with these horrible menus. Um, what have we got then? So I'm, I'm looking at genuinely the fire rate this time around because we've got enough steel to be able to craft a lot of bullets here. So that's got a slightly higher fire rate. That one's only 700, right? It'd be nice if... Oh, it's only 400. It'd be nice if there was just a DPS. I'm going to be honest. It would just be like an average DPS with like 10 shooting or something like that. And then you could do a bit a, a bit more easier mental math rather than having to compare damage, stopping power, range, weapon spread, all that type of shit. So we need to make some point forty SW. I'm just going to type an SW in hope that brings up there we are so you want to make only armor piercing rounds if you can do that do until x let's go until 500 excuse me 500 pause when satisfied and then uh, no 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 don't pause when satisfied right yeah that's how we do it right drop this shit on the floor who do we want we want someone to be basically urgently crafting the stuff is necessary so it is four eyes so because she's wardening 
she, when she's done warning, should go and craft some weapons. Uh, and obviously she's a perfectionist, which means it's going to be even slower. Let's get Rex Buckley to build this light, to at least not have this room so dark. I mean, it's lit, so it's not going to make a huge amount of difference. Over here, though, it is very, very dark. So if we put down any other workbenches, just help out to get that down right now. Okay, there we go. We do need a few more... We need some more sources of power. Right now, we're actually not doing too bad to say that we've added some more machinery, but we've also put down that wind turbine. That one's going to be built eventually as well. Not to worry about it right now. What the fuck are you doing? That doesn't look like... Did I tell you to haul? <laughs> some some sort of common sense one. Probably the pickup and haul mod. I have no idea. doesn't matter too much. It's really not a big deal to go and grab those on your way back. That's honestly fine. We've got enough people right now where it's not a problem. When it was back down to just two people... Them spending time going and getting those bricks, for example, was kind of a massive deal. That was a big concern because we didn't have time to be doing that stuff. Now it's not such a and such a big problem. How's it going to take to get this stuff done? It takes her a long time to say that it's only like a hundred work to get these bullets churned out. Does power armor reduce toxic sensitivity? Because these guys have always been outside for a very, very long time now. This guy's been over in the quarry. None of them are taking... Uh, what about four eyes? Nothing. Yeah, none of them have any sort of toxic... I guess it must be the power armor. Let's take a look. I've, I've actually never known if power armor does that, because it's so rare that you get toxic fallout in the base game, obviously. Um, toxic sensitivity minus 50%, and I assume the helmet does the same thing. Uh, minus, yeah, so they, they are completely immune to the fallout. Oh, that's very nice. I'm so glad we found this much power armor early on, because it's really just made this game kind of a lot easier. I, I think we'll be honest, like, so much easier. Oh, my God, there are so many zombies. Um, oh, my God, there are so many zombies. We're up to 690 now, by the way. Um, this fire is going to spread and probably knock down our walls if we're not careful. Um, do we want to go and deal with that? Do we want to cut this wall off before it gets out of hand? Probably. I might send someone to... Uh, the issue is it's going to open up. It's going to open up the world to the zombies, though, isn't it? We'd have to cut it off, like, all the way through here. And we're also losing a lot of steel just because the steel is on the fire, which makes perfect sense. Zombies apparently can melt steel beams. Rex, what do we, what do, we do about this, my man? How, how are we going to deal with this? We could go out and try and fight the fire. I mean, if anybody can do it, it's going to be Rex Buckley. How is he going to get up there, though? He has to go all the way around there. Mm, that's a bit dangerous. That, that is a bit dangerous. Got to remember, these zombies are getting stronger and faster every episode. Um, let's get up here. Let's knock that down. Let's... Take this slow. Let's say that's a burst fire, or maybe even single fire, because reloading will probably get him killed, but firing one bullet, one charged bullet at zombies at a time isn't. All right, there we go. It's just kind of overkill otherwise. We'll take this very slowly and try and deal with this fire first before we uh, really get committed to anything else here. So she's clearly wearing a flat jacket. I wonder if it'll help her. No. <laughs> I guess because we've got the zombies set to uh, be incredibly weak, but obviously in massive numbers, that even, even that isn't going to help them out too much. Major break risk coup. Tallahassee. Like I said, we can't have these people just standing guard all day. It is going to drive them insane. Right, this is operation. Put out the fire before we lose a shit ton of steel and before our base goes up like a goddamn rocket. Please, careful. Oh, watch out for the zombie. They oh, fired two bullets. And did you hear that? I heard that. Right, go stand here. Let's clear these guys out from the top level. Now, this is where burst fire actually might be handy because the bullets, I mm, assume, have some level of penetration, right? Let's try it. Yeah, they, they clearly do. That was three shots fired, three zombies killed. So in this scenario, probably makes some sense. Right, let's move down a little bit. Watch out for that splasher zombie. Oh, there's a lot of toxic goo here. Okay, right. Well, there's even more now. You enjoy that. So his toxic sensitivity is lower, but I don't know exactly how the toxic zombies work. I don't, whether or not they do give toxic buildup, which I assume they would, right? It's already a mechanic in the game. Okay, let's go deal with this fucking fire before this rips apart any more of this poor building. My god, it's dealt with so much stuff. I'm just gonna stand him. If we stand him adjacent to the fire, I'll beat it out, you know, just sort of automatically there. Right, the zombies are descending somewhat, so do be somewhat careful here, my friend. The zombies do take an absolute battering now, though, before they go down. That it is it is kind of surprising the difference that just these minor little modifications I've added has, uh, has done to some of the damage these guys can take. Right, okay, so that's that bit dealt with. Let's head up here and, and cut this stuff off as well. Oh, God, out of ammo. Shit, that's not good. Okay, hold hold out. Just hold out. He's got an auto pistol there we could haul back. There's also a lot of gear in this one as well. I'm not too concerned. Sword off shotgun? Probably not bad in a zombie apocalypse, I'll be honest. Right, let's get you over here. Let's fight these couple of fires as well, and then that should hold down the fort. I'd love to get these advanced components. Just in case this whole building goes up again. But I don't want to fight that in her entire horde. I think that, I think that's asking a little bit too much. Right, you're good, Rex. Thank you for your, thank you for your help. Then let's get you home. All right, let's stick down another slate wall here. Is that is that it dealt with? Oh my god, there are so many. R Rex, where are you going? Rex, what the hell, man? <laughs> it's going all the way up through there. That, that makes perfect sense. And we are good. Okay, where, where's he going now? Wait. Oh, no, don't go out there. Don't go out there. I'm going to forbid that. I think I've sent to unrestricted, hadn't I? So that he could do some stuff yesterday. Um... Wow, he's really finding ways through here, huh? How is he getting into there? 
He's going all the way. Oh, he's going out the front door. That's a fantastic idea. Uh, I'm going to actually forbid these external doors. That was kind of what I was building in the first place. Stop going out repairing this shit. Uh, and it, it is controlled by the area as well. But obviously with Rex Buckley, sometimes we do want him to be able to go out these walls. Mega Sloth Revenge. Oh, that's nice. That's nice news for us. That's nice news for us. It will clear out some of these zombies quite nicely. Um, how are we looking at those tank zombies, by the way? How far have they made? They're still sticking around here, just beating down these walls. That's okay. We're not too interested in those. What are you doing, Rex? Rex. Rex, we're going to fall out. Right, what are you doing now? Okay, now we're fine. I think that's actually limited to inside the base now. What in the God's name is that thing? Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot these were a thing. Uh, suicide bombers on me. So these are the rarest spawn we've got going on right now. Um, mainly because these guys, the second they get to a wall, will just blow up. Sort of uh, sort of like the um, the Berserker Uruk in, in Helm's Deep. <laughs> okay. Um, right, so here's what I'm thinking. Let's bring him down, Legolas. Who we got? Who's a, who's a crack shot? Who's ready to go? Button, you need some more ammo. Building roof where? Building roof where? Oh, he's just building roof over there. That's really unnecessary, but that's okay. That's a, it's really, really unnecessary right now, but that's fine. Um, he's going to trap yourself out. Fantastic play. B brilliant move. Okay, there we go. That should do that. Okay, I, was, I just wanted the last of that bit done so they didn't keep wandering out there. Let's go grab you some fresh ammo. These all... Oh, Are we out of charge shots? Ooh, that could be a concern. Uh, they are. Oh, no. Okay. Um... Shit, this could be a problem. What have we got? We've got, we've got, we've got SMG ammo. We've got, oh, we do have some SMG ammo then, huh? Um, oh, it takes plus, yeah, okay, so the SMG doesn't take SMG ammo. Silly me. How long is that going to take? Four eyes, four eyes. Wake up. We need weapons. We need to, I might just have to send the whole squad out there to try and take down the suicide bomber zombie before he, uh, runs up to my wall. He's running actually up to the main gate. Okay. This shit has to be stopped right now. If we put embrasures either side, that would make sense because then we wouldn't have to, oh, he's moving, okay, he's moving back. Maybe we've confused. He's probably a little bit confused given the amount of walls on the map. This would be a lot more difficult if there weren't just so many naturally occurring walls. Right, get ready. We're going to move as a squad. Barton, you're back up. Okay, here we go. Nice work. Nice work. There we go. That He blew up. It's okay. He's fine. He blew up. He blew up. He blew up. Back off. Back off. Again, this mod would be so much more difficult if there weren't so many just naturally occurring shit. Now we're going to have to hold this down for a while. If there weren't so many naturally occurring walls kicking around. Because the zombies would just attack. Like the tank zombies will attack walls down here, for example. Which you can see they've clearly done. Um, and that means that we don't have to worry about them coming specifically for our base much. But if you're playing on an open plane, on an open field. You're a full to fight zombies on an open field. Then you would have a lot more problems. Because any walls that you build are most likely going to be yours. And obviously the few walls that might spawn in. Just as uh, the, the default abandoned buildings. It seems to have broken through. They, they do seem to have broken through that. We need embrasures. We need embrasures on the inside, don't we, to be able to shoot these boys. Um, let's go for, excuse me, I could do with some slate, maybe marble embrasures, because we've got a lot of marble kicking around. Let's make sure they're being fully replaced. That way we don't have to concern ourselves. In fact, if we put embrasures on the other side as well, could we shoot the zombies without them being agitated by this? If that's true, then this is, this is big brain. It's big brain time. Let's get rid of that stuff. <laughs> Memes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's get rid of this one as well. Um... So, Tallahassee's been bitten. Tallahassee, you're going to die. Oh, he's been shot. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. Let's take, um, let's take Barton, Frank North, and Fox. Who's good at delivering? I think I think Barton was our delivery boy, right? Yeah, you get to work on that. These guys are going to stand there and hold the hold the ground, clear this out so we can build some embrasures in. Similarly, we'll have to probably... De oh, right, that guy's still hanging around. Probably all these dead carcasses inside the walls definitely don't help. Right, so Fox, you're going to stand there, and the second this wall comes down, you are going to annihilate them all. Or you... Probably not, because you're apparently the world's shit shot. Seriously? It's a single zombie. He's just standing there. Oh, right. He does have a level 4 in shooting. Hello, friends. Right, okay. I, I think he just drilled a hole in the wall. That must be how that's worked, right? Um. Oh, incredible play there from Frank North. Incredible play. The embrasure's completely blocked by two guys. Just fire anyway. Just fire anyway. Shotguns are famously quite accurate. I mean, in real life, they're not too bad. But in video games, shotguns are famously, famously very accurate weapons. Right, let's move you over a, a, a tad bit there and... Uh, Prioritize repairing state. No, no, no. I want you to already construct repairing. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. how did you build that one then? If you're not, oh, did I? You got this guy to do it. Okay, <laughs> fine. Right, you you build that one. Yeah, but actually build it in front of it though before Frank North decides to pop you in the back of the head again. Right, there we go. Let's get Frank North down here. Please don't shoot the rest of my external walls. Thank you. That's fine. No one will find your corpse. Welcome to Psychoville. He's he's clearing them out. To his credit, he's really clearing him out there. Okay, uh, let's get working on this one as well. Barton's injured too. We've taken more damage from friendly fire today than we have from... Let's see, I'm not racist then. That's a weird thing. Me think the lady doth protest a little bit too much there, my friend. Um, not just sound repairing. You know what, Frank North, just, just piss off. That shotgun is causing so many issues, honestly. 
I'm, the second we get some more ammo for these other SMGs, that's getting swapped out. This might be a bad idea, but that tank zombie is getting very dangerously close, and we've already got a massive hole in the wall here. I'm going to say, let's move him through here. Let's go for a manual shot on that tank zombie. We've got armor piercing rounds. Let's go fully auto. Let's just unload on the guy. Take him out. You watch him shoot everything. Oh, that was actually some good shots from our man there. Normally, he misses every single one. And you can see the damage that he's done just shooting at those other zombies. On the way back, he managed to somehow hit all of these walls as well. Unbelievable. Right, what's his shooting skill now? 4.76. He's leveling up very fast. It's almost like having a massive... That might be a good plan. Having a big old shooting range. I, what I actually want to do, and this is an idea I wanted to float for you guys. What if we just replace all of the external walls with embrasures? That way we can kill any zombies that get close with having to, you know, balance in. I mean, I still want the inner and outer chambers of the walls as well, because that provides a nice amount of defense. But if we just replace everything with embrasures, we'll be able to hit, in theory, everything before it gets too close. That is a grenade opportunity. And you know what? I said I was going to do this a couple of, of, of episodes ago, and I never actually did it. For you guys, we're going we're gonna to chuck some grenades. We're going to get my friend Fox to chuck some grenades over in that direction. We've got a stonking great hole in the wall right now. So this is now, this area is now all condemned because they can just walk straight in. We'll deal with that in a second though. I want to grenade that massive group and just see what happens. He's probably going to be completely devoured, I'll be honest with you. Hopefully the power armor is as strong as combat extended makes it out to be. Let's go and grab these frag grenades and let's light them all up. Okay, here goes nothing. This could just be a suicide run because I don't know how fast these guys move now. What, what sort of range are we looking at on these grenades? Don't throw grenades that way. Chuck them, chuck them that direction. Right, ready? Let's get a little bit closer. Oh no, this is going to be a mess. Go! Hooray! Oh my god, those work so well! They do a lot of damage to the walls though. Okay, get a little bit closer. We're going we're gonna to have to them right in the middle of the pack this time, because they don't seem to be that mad at us. Oh my god, he actually landed it. Holy shit, that's so good. Obviously, we haven't got many left. I'm just doing this for chits and giggles, to be completely honest with you. Right, take him out. Take him down. There's so many tank zombies here that I'm really, I'm, I'm fine using this on these guys. Get roasted. Get roasted. Oh, electric zombie there. Be careful. I don't know how grenades work with the electric zombies. I'll be completely honest with you. Go. Nice. There's another one down. Um. Okay. Take take this guy down. How many more grenades we got left? Uh. One. Oh, dear. Nice. That's the electric... Okay. So now we just got to worry about this electric zombie. I haven't fought any of these before. And I have no idea if grenades will even work on them, to be completely honest with you. Um. All right. Is, is in range now? You're going you're gonna to throw it? It doesn't work. <gasps> He's immune. Okay, I kind of kind of thought that might happen because he's got an electromagnetic field, so shrapnel's clearly not going to work too well against him there. Okay, shit. Um, just, just go in and kick his head in. Honestly, let's just, let's just forget the grenades. Pick up, you see that club? You get that club. Just get that club and go kick his head in. That'll do it. Hello, electric zombie. Uh, he's got power armor. Hopefully that won't be an issue. That would be a cool mechanic if it, like, shorts out power armor and they become stunned or something like that. Because I assume power armor is electrical based, right? It could be just, I guess, hydraulics, but that's a bit odd. Right, okay, grab that one. Um, let's go home. Let's just go home. Honestly, just what? That's not home. Area 1? Oh my god, that is Area 1. Um, I remember why we did that now, because we were going to hunt those animals, right? Let's, let's go ahead and tidy up Area 1 and make sure it's still still down to uh, down to where it should be. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing to worry about that. that that's that's not fine. That is, that's kind of bad. Everything else, though, yeah, we're good. Area 1, that, so that's our current perimeter we've actually got defended. It's quite a sizable base when you consider the size of the map there. The, the amount of area we were able to claim this time around is it's quite nice. Seriously. I, I, I restricted his area, and his response was to stand and eat a meal exactly where he stood right now. Fight your way out. Fight your way out. Run, run, run. That's it. Did he just fire a grenade? I, I'm actually genuinely surprised then he didn't get himself killed. Grenades, turns out, actually hyper useful. What it might be advisable to do then is for us to... <laughs> Seriously. Stop leaving shit in front. I know there's a mod that does that. I need to go and get the mod. I think there was some incompatibility with one of the hauling mods we were using, so we're not using it anymore, so I'll go and grab that. Um... Yeah, I mean, sometimes in real world, this is just unbelievable. What was he talking about before that guy interrupted me? I don't remember. I don't remember. We need to sort out weapons. Oh, grenades. Yeah, when we can craft grenades, I think we're going to be kind of in a really, really good place. As long as we use them away from the walls, you know, picking off big packs before they get too close to us. Even stuff like this, doing a lot of hit and runs against those guys. Got a lot of electric zombies spawning in. Wow. Because you're like, one, two, three there. Using it against these guys as well, prime candidate. There was also a little confusion regarding the planet killer weapon. So I said yesterday it won't kill us dead. Now, the base game planet killer would. We're not using the base game planet killer. There is going to be a bigger planet ending event, but it takes a long time to build up to that. Uh, it, it, it's not going to... I don't want to give away what it is. If you've got any if you've got any thoughts what it might be, leave me in the comments. I'll be, I'll be interested to see if anyone guesses. But it's not going to be the base game planet killer weapon. So don't worry. I know that one turns up and it's just basically like, hey, guess what, game over. This one's not. This one's going to slowly change the planet. Let's put it that way. You fuckers. Oh, it's the electric zombies. 
Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, okay, 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 okay. Now what, how do we deal with that then? Shit. Um. Right, so what I'm thinking. That actually sucks a lot. If these guys can just spark up walls like that, we are in for some... Well, we, look, I know from my many, many experiences playing Pokemon that... <laughs> that if we build stone walls, in theory, electric will be not very effective, right? It should have no effect. So I think if we take some of that marble that we're in theory still quarrying up, we, we are. Okay, we've got a fair amount of marble blocks there. Thank you, Fox. You've done a great job. Let's use some of this marble and build, uh, I mean, any external walls, really. Plus, we get a lot of steel if we replaced all of this external wall, huh? Any external walls just need to be metal from now on. Oh, sorry, not metal. Not metal and not wood. I don't know how steel catches fire, either. Um, yeah. Build the whole base out of marble. How decadent. How renaissance of us to do that. Now all we need is gigantic marble statues. We've got ourselves a little anti-zombie pantheon. Uh, let's go for marble walls. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go for regular marble walls over here. We don't need to worry about that too much. And I think just pff, goodbye. And good. What do you mean not enough? Oh, not enough store, but there is enough on the map. Just don't ignore them. The, the game likes to lie about that type of stuff. So let's do that to start off with. It's a fairly major expansion. Do we even need to do that? We could... Okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's think about this a bit, bit better. If we go out and just take out that zombie, probably a good idea, right? The amount of times I actually also go through this building, it might be better to build just a door up here or something like that. Um, let's go and take out that zombie. But we know for the future that if we get more electric zombies, then we need to worry about the walls catching fire and being suicide bombed and just being knocked down by zombies and tank zombies and everything else. So I'm thinking, let's start Operation Marble Embrasure first. So let's get the inside wall completely replaced with Marble Embrasure. We don't need to do this bit. Um, unless we also replace this outside bit, but that's obviously kind of dangerous. Um, just clearing off the area outside the door should be enough, I'm hoping. And then we'll replace all of this with Embrasure. Then we'll build up this inside wall as well with Marble Embrasure. Because I said we were going to do that, because that way it'll stop the zombies being aggroed. We can still walk along here without causing a lot of issues. Yeah, I think it's a better plan. And then we'll also replace all of this internal wall with Embrasure as well. That way, when we're up against zombies... In theory, we should just be able to knock them down safely before we go out and do any repairs that we need to do. I hope. <laughs> all this might work horrible. All this might fail horribly when some idiot with a charged shotgun just knocking down the embrasure and letting all the zombies in. Because don't they have less they have less hit points than walls? Marble embrasure, marble wall. They do have less hit points than walls. Okay, but probably because there's a massive great hole in it in hindsight. Okay, um... Rex Buckley, you are primarily set to construction. I've just done that so that we don't have to worry about that too much. Let's get him. Let's get him finishing off the, these zones here. So what that'll do is, when they actually quarry things up, they'll automatically put it on these platforms. Then it will count as being stored, so we, we know how much we can build in a, in a chunk, you know, without the game saying, "Hey, you haven't got any marble." When we clearly do have a lot. Okay, this is this is this is okay. I think we're fine. Now, what about our prisoners? What are we looking at here? So you've got okay mining skill. Actually, it'd be good to get you on board. I hear fire again. Tommy, it's fucking, it's fucking zombie. We're gonna fall out. Uh, Frank, Frank North. No, Frank North and his shotgun cannot be trusted. Should we just give Rex Buckley a, a melee weapon for the time being? What have we got? What's the best melee weapon? We've got a steel longsword there. Uh, what, what? Can we see melee DPS still? Um, 12.89. Good, 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 good stuff. We can actually tell that now. 12.46. But that's also got. There's also like dodge chance, parry chance, critical chance as well. We've got to take into account. So this could be a lot more a lot more confusing. We could even give him back the trusty steel wrench, which is almost gone. It's got a lower DPS, though, but it does give construction success chance and repair success chance. Um, I think we'll just give him a big old spear. Let's just give him a big... Oh, we got a good spear. What's, what's the damage on that one looking like? 13.71. Um, I'll take it. We'll use the good steel spear on my man Rex Buckley. So I'm going to make some melee weapon loadouts. I feel like we're, we're regressing a little bit here. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let this metal tires on fire. Please. That's how I get almost all of my steel. Let's put a hole in the wall here, because we do... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's close. Oh, that's close. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, are the walls finished? The walls are fine, but we don't have any external defenses. Um. Well, that's bad. Okay. That's bad. That's like, I'm not going to lie to you. That's fucking just awful. Um, right, deconstruct the steel wall. Let's go and stab this boy here. Because, you know, we need melee weapons to take out those zombies anyway. So a gun wouldn't work. Right, you guys are now completely screwed. Rex Buckley and his power armor plus melee weapon. It's the, it's the dream that we've always... It's, it's what we've always wanted. Plasteel spear in this guy's hands. Unstoppable. Right, um, let's get this wall... Even, do we even want it rebuilt? Fuck it. I mean, there's doors between us and them anyway. Let's just forbid this one, then we'll unforbid it if we want to go to that zone. Make sure we've claimed it too. There's another bloody electro zombie. Get out of here. Stop lighting my walls on fire, damn it. I think that's the majority of the electro zombies dealt with for the time being. Let's get back into base and let's go and see what that zombie attack is looking like. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> wow. There's one, two, three electric zombies. Oh, four electric zombies, I believe. Five electric zombies. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six electric zombies. One, two tanks. 
No suicide zombies, which is obviously very, very nice because those things are incredibly lethal. Let me just pan around and see if we can spot any more. Got a couple of tank zombies down there still. Another tank. I need to turn down the number of tank zombies, I think, because this is kind of overwhelming. There's another electric zombie. They seem to be sort of trapped on the other side of the mountain there. So those guys plus mine is... Ah, oh, get away from my walls, damn it. Right, Spockley, let's let you in. Welcome aboard. Right, lock that door. How are we going to deal with this? Because those tank zombies are going to annihilate the walls. The walls are going to catch fire. We, we can't even shoot half these electro... Now, the question is, do the electromagnetic fields only zap bullets that are going to hit the electric zombies... Or do they defend in an area? So say, for example, this guy. Will he protect this dude here? Or will this guy protect this guy in his in his camo armor? Oh, well, sorry. There's no one there. But will this guy, for example, protect these two? Um, I guess there's only one way to find out. I don't know why I'm asking you guys. Because I'm, I'm going to find out in a second anyway. Right. Frank North, Barton, Tallahassee, Rex Buckley. The dream team. It's the dream, It's the team we've always wanted. Get them together. These guys all need naming. Because they've definitely earned their stripes of this, team, uh, this, this, this state, huh? Thank God we built these embrasures. Because now we can kill these fellas without having to worry about it too much. Um, you get down here, Barton, because you are... Oh, no, actually get here. Oh, that's it. Frank Nall immediately turns up and shoots the freaking door down. F fucking Frank Nall. Right, Rex Buckley's just going to have to stand there and stem the tide. Oh, this is absurd. Good luck. Frank Nall, just, just honestly take that shotgun and keep shooting at that guy. Because on the way those bullets passing through, they're going to kill just about everyone else. Oh, it does do that thing, what I said it would do. It's like a shield. Take out Matt. Take him down. Please don't shoot. Ah, oh, please don't shoot Rex Buckley. Okay. <laughs> Frank North gives me gives me a panic every time I see him taking aim. Everyone in the colony collectively winces whenever Frank North says, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the shot." Okay. This is a state. We've still got some other tanks on this take out there. Nice work, Rex Buckley. Nice work, Rex Buckley. Okay. Good shit. Let's take out that first tank zombie, and then we're going to go and take the fight to them. Let's, let's knock this guy down first. Oh, God, they're all raging now. You know what we could do with? Contaminate water. I'll deal with that in a minute. We could do it with a grenade. Where's my man Fox? My man Fox. I don't want to interrupt your breakfast. You know what? Let's, let's wait for him to finish his breakfast first. Where's that tank zombie? Down there, too. Okay. I'm thinking... Form a line. Form a line. Oh, you need to, you need to take out... So we need to focus Rex Buckley on these guys. Rex Buckley. Actually move, though. Okay, there we go. Take out these guys. Rex Buckley is going to stand on the front line. Uh, in fact, no, Rex Buckley is going to specifically hunt down the electric zombies. Okay, there we go. Right, and then... Oh, they're not raging anymore, so the horde got a little bit smaller there. So you're going to specifically hunt down these boys here. I actually don't know which one it is. I'm going to assume it's that one. There we go. That's going to give these guys a little... Frank! Oh! <laughs> Rex! Rex, be careful, my son. Oh, go and protect them. Go and protect them. There we are. Don't you dare. Oh, okay. We've got to build up Frank Frank's shooting skill. I've got to get rid of that charge shotgun. This is this is killing me here. Frank North, unbelievably bad shot. Just the worst shot we've ever had in Rimworld. Right, go and take out. There we go. Right, this is good. Clear him some cover. Move down. Take out the next one. Once all these those electric zombies are so cool. Once they're dealt with, we can then pull back and let our shotgun fella deal with the rest. Again, in this situation, he's incredibly useful because you can just spray and pray and take out everything. Um, and also, <laughs> hit the wall still. Right, Frank, piss off. Seriously, you're driving me insane. Now, what we can do is have Frank North on delivery mode and try and repair all of this outside stuff. We're not assigned to constructing. I know you're not. It's Frank North, Frank North, Frank North is on deliver. Hey, deliver the resources outside area one. Ah, that explains a lot. Okay, let's put this back out, back into area one then. There we go. Just in case we have to do any frantic repairs, I guess. Um, if we forbid the doors, though, that's good. That way they can't go outside and try building roofs or repair it from the outside of the wall. That was my only concern. Um, right, prioritize delivering. Absolutely get on it. Rex Buckley's on a mental breakdown. Smoke leaf binge. That's good. That means he'll run back into the colony. Obviously, it's not going to be he's going on a smoke leaf binge. Fox, do me a favor. Oh, who's nearby? Four eyes? Four eyes is nearby. Where's the smoke leaf? Where, where's the smoke? Oh, there it is. Go and pick those up. <laughs> go, on, go. On. No, I don't want to. Cannot pick up. Inventory is full. Oh, she's got a massive, great shield equipped. Um, okay. You know what? Just go and just go and just go and deal with that smoke leaf. Like, actually, smoke it all if you have to. Just drop that shit. Drop that shit. There we go. Pick them up. Boom. That should that should stop Rex Buckley going on a smoke leaf binge. I think. Um, if, what, what are you gonna smoke now, huh, Rex? He's gonna find something. Playing billiards. Okay, that that's completely fine. How's the battle going? Tallahassee's got a block of wood equipped. Why has he got so much in his backpack? Why is he not emptying it automatically? Tallahassee. Um, Tala, 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 Tallahassee, Tallahassee, assault rifle. Why has he got that other crap equipped, though? 
I have no idea. Sometimes I think I know how the loadouts work in Combat Extended, and then other times I realise it just seems to be completely random. I will spill your blood till it rains down from the skies. That's a sign of a mentally stable man. Okay, repairs are going very, very well. I'm, I'm hoping... Fuck, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's our warden? Warden, 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 four eyes, war eyes, uh, ah, for Frank Null, Frank Null, Frank Null. Try to arrest, I don't need to arrest him, I want him to calm him down. Has somebody already tried? I think someone's already tried. Okay, send a security detail with him. Send him, send a security team. Just send these guys. Just, just send Barton. Barton, you gotta clear away. Where's he walking to? Oh, that's fine. That's not a worry at all. How is he moving so fast? He's like bloody Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh my god, he's seriously gonna go play this game of Earth. Well, okay, I guess we're guess we're doing this now, are we? Just keep him covered. Just keep him covered. Is it is it that game of error he's going for? Okay, that's fine. Um, you might also want to pick up that long sword because there is a electric zombie. Okay, just give him some cover. That's all we need to do. We don't need to don't need to kill every zombie in the area. We just need to make sure my man can play his game without freaking out. This is absurd. This is a, this is an absurd situation we've got ourselves into. Kill it, kill it, take it out. Okay. Oh, wow. This is um, it's ridiculous. Kind of, kind of completely absurd. Take this pig. Oh, I like combat extended, but the combat lines are just kind of absurd. Oh, where's he going now? Playing billiards. What billiards table is there? What fucking billiards table is there? Um, he knows more than I do at this point. Billi billiards. Oh, I must be blind. Let's just follow him. It doesn't matter. Let's just follow him. Okay. Hopefully we'll go back to the base. He's definitely not going back to the base. My guy's trying to avoid the zombies, so he's actually going the fucking long way around. Where's the billiards table? Oh no! Just, just, just give whatever chase you can. Just give what. Don't fire at will. Just keep, just keep running. Don't waste ammo on the zombies. That. Oh, what's he doing? He's trying to get back into the base. Oh, he's in the base. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> my poor man Barton is now stuck. Okay, let's get him back up there. Toxic fallout is gone. Thank God for that. So we can turn off the. Oh, a backpack. We can turn off the um the, the zombie avoidance systems basically. But honestly, they work. Like, they actually genuinely work quite well. It's not like the vampire one where it'll take the fucking world's longest route or just keep trying until eventually he burns to death. In this one, it seems fairly sensible. So they will uh, they will sort of pick and choose their battle somewhat. Hit. I hate this. I need to go and get that mod, like, right now, don't I? Because this is absolutely going to get us killed. Let's pick all this shit up. Now, in theory, we should be able to shoot the zombies from here. If And the bullets will fly through these embrasures. It seems ridiculous, but it does actually work. Because they just count as blocks that you can shoot through now. Oh, no, no, no. How are we going to deal with that? Rex has only got a spear now. He doesn't even have a spear anymore. Goodbye, walls. Yep, there we go. Okay. Um, pff, shit, are there any more of those kicking around? Uh, I think we're okay. Oh, there's another one there, but that's not a concern. Oh, man. These suicide bomber zombies could really, really cause an issue. What we need, ideally, is to turn this into an armory. Have guns, weapons, spears that we can swap out depending on what we're fighting. Raiders, you swap out to your long range sort of, I mean, even hollow point weaponry to some extent. Zombies, electrifying ones, we need we need melee weapons. For big groups, we're going to need explosives and going back to the base and swapping it out. Like Rex Buckley right now has dropped his spear as well because he went on a binge. Um, but in this scenario, he would have been completely screwed because we, we wouldn't have been able to stop the guy either way if he did have his spear. Because it's a sewer. You don't, you don't really want to go and melee attack a guy with a bomb strapped to his chest. So it does look like the the stone walls do in fact stop the electrifying zombies doing any damage there. They sort of walk up to it and it sparks, but it doesn't actually... There's another one? There's another one? Oh my lord. Okay. Um, <laughs> great. Uh, who should we get? Let's get a spring, a spring Barton. Barton, you're not the one with the crazy shotgun. Let's stand you over here. Please run, 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 run. Oh, keep... I thought he was going straight for the walls and he was making a beeline for it. Come on, where are you? Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Take aim. Take that one down. Get, get closer, though, you fool. Right, stop. Stop, please. Right, get get closer. Right, take him down. Bring him down. Fantastic shot. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for your... Sorry? Can I ask why the AI in RimWorld are completely insane all the time? Yeah, let's just, let's go out here where there are clearly enemies everywhere. I, need, I mean, I know it's in this loud area. Why not just walk back to the kitchen and eat your meal? There's got to be a mod for that as well. Always go and piss off and eat your meals back in the kitchen. Always mod. Thank you all for watching. I have some mods. I think we need to... Thank you all for watching. We'll deal with that tomorrow. I have some mods that I think I need to desperately chuck into the game to ensure that we have a bit more finer control. 
you know? Things like them eating meals outside the walls, kind of a real pain in the ass. I will admit, things like uh, not leaving blocks in front of the doors and inviting the zombies in, massive pain in the ass, because a zombie walks through the door, dies in the door frame, then you've got to kill all the other zombies behind it until its body despawns. Real pain in the ass. I think we need to focus on Operation Replace All These Wars. I mean, we, we made a lot of good progress there. I didn't really point it out, but they were they were seriously getting that stuff done with the delivery. It's working quite nicely as well. We need to find a nice balance between mining, delivering, and constructing. And that's going to be what I do in between episodes. Try and work out what works best for us. Big shout out to the insane top tier level patron making the channel possible in the first place. There is a new Patreon poster up that I put up yesterday if you guys want to go check that out. It's got some uh, some stuff relevant to the channel that sort of happened over the past month. Some some things of note there is some updates for future series ideas as well if you want to go and check that out and sort of uh give me give me some feedback on that see what you're interested in in the meantime though, let's give a thank you to anthony golly suna kirito atmosis average gamer 419 bacon kitten banyol sedini crazy back crosis donald emerald beam fukuno vasquez fluff and utter ghost of protocol gogolas harik jimbo jonah waters josh lindine tesla justin wallace kenny carter michael mullen musk grapful now bus 911 nathan flores neko felon pelvis presley richard clark rodin scott Gaz, somnus stannis the manis Shayuk, the Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backers, William Green, and Zazzy 7011. <coughs> Ow. At least I'm starting to lose my voice at the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thank you to these guys for supporting the channel and making it possible in the first place. And a thank you to Asro, and in person, Aiden W, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoon, Ben Troke, Bestmas Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Dunk Honey 2 7, Easier to Pronounce Name, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerku, Gompo, Grey, Haji Demar, Henrik Stensgaard, Icarus, I See the Great, Israel, Irish, Isaac Burrows, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yon DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Lauren Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mass Stolp, Monty, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Pivot 1 through 7, Faint Denisar, Rush Nolgart, Billionaire, Shari, Smirtworm, Socrates, Super 9089, Talar, The Bloody Knight, Valonkari, Farragon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson, Tef, Wolfie, Yorkers, and Zico 2. And now, I rest my voice for a year. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Oh, and all of you guys get access to that Patreon post as well. It's just anybody who's who's backed on Patreon. There's no. It's not like uh, you have to pay forty dollars to access. It's not. It's nothing like that. It's just everyone. Go and take a look.